What's up Cloud Gamers, today I'll be showing you the best way to experience Steam VR with your Shadow PC subscription and your Oculus Quest 2. If you don't have Steam VR installed on your Shadow PC, then do that first before you carry out these steps I'll be showing you in today's video. So the first thing you want to do is head over to dashboard.oculus.com forward slash organizations forward slash create. The link is in the description. This is the Oculus developers dashboard and you need to sign in with your Oculus account and verify via either credit card or your phone number. I done mine with my mobile number via my Facebook account and made sure to change the privacy settings so no one can see it. Afterwards you are presented with what you see on screen right now. We are asked for an organisation name, this can be anything you like and can be changed if you ever feel like developing apps or games for the Oculus Store down the road, but for today's purposes, all we want to do is enable developer mode on our device. Feel free to read through the T's and C's if you wish, but this is as far as we need to go here. Now we have to enable developer mode on our Quest 2 headset. Connect your Quest to your preferred device, this can be PC or mobile. I went with mobile for ease of use as this is how you have to set up your Quest 2 in the beginning anyway. Open up the app, tap devices and wait for it to connect and then you will see developer mode appear. Tap that and toggle the switch over. Now we have to reboot our Quest 2 and an easy way to make sure this has worked is by heading to your settings menu and now there should be a developer tab like you see on screen just now. With those first steps completed, now what we want to do is head over to sidequestvr.com forward slash hashtag forward slash download. Again, this link is in the description. Download and install the SideQuest client to wherever you like on your local PC. Once done, open the SideQuest client and create an account. It's completely free. Now we have it installed and opened, connect your headset to your PC via USB cable. Pop the headset on and you should see a window appear asking you to allow USB debugging. Select the option labelled Always Allow from this computer and you will then be prompted with a second window asking if you would like to allow this device to access media. Select Allow. Your headset will now go back to your home scene and your device is now ready to have apps sideloaded via SideQuest. Leave your headset connected to your PC and head back to the SideQuest client and search for Shadow VR Alpha. An option appears on the top right titled Install to Headset. Click this and wait until a green banner appears at the bottom here saying All Tasks Complete. Now we want to pop our headset back on and go find our Shadow PC Alpha app. Select apps from your bottom home bar and with the top right drop down menu you want to select unknown sources. And as you see, now we've found our side loaded app so let's go ahead and open it up. Now we're in business folks, log into your Shadow PC account just as you would on any other device using your email address and password. You will then be asked to enter the code that has been sent to your email as this is a new device you're logging into your account with. Pop the code in and you'll be presented with what you see now. Click Start Shadow VR and since this is the first time it takes a wee while to update, let it run its course and if you have Steam VR already installed on your machine as I alluded to in the beginning, this will take you straight to your Steam VR home. From here you have access to all your games and popping up the settings you see we have a 72Hz refresh rate and our render resolution is set to auto. I haven't played around with this too much just yet as the Oculus Quest 2 is limited in what it can output resolution wise, so we don't want to push those boundaries too much just yet. Moving into some gameplay, you see the resolution is perfectly acceptable for where we are at in terms of VR technology today. Latency wise, for me on my connection of 100 megabits per second download speed, it was fine. There were a few instances of lag spikes here and there but I will admit my router and Wi-Fi is not the best as it's just a standard Virgin Media router. Nothing special about it yet I am able to enjoy Steam VR games on my Oculus Quest 2 via Shandal PC VR without a high-end local PC by using these methods shown in today's video. It's a bit of a workaround in the beginning, but once you do this once, you can then enjoy all your Steam VR games just by opening your side loaded Shadow VR app. I hope you enjoyed the video today, folks. I hope it's helped you. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and stay tuned for some more ways to experience VR in the clouds plus gameplay videos as we work our way through the VR library. Until next time, then, stay safe and keep on gaming.